When it comes to wall mounting an indoor dome camera, it may seem straightforward, but there are crucial tips that can elevate your installation from a DIY mishap to a professional setup in just a few minutes. Hello everyone, Tyler and Corey here, and welcome to our new CCTV install field guide series. Today, we'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step installation process of mounting an indoor dome camera onto a wall. But before we dive into the installation process, let's first take a look at some of the materials you might need, such as specialty fasteners, drywall anchors, toggle bolts, low voltage mounting brackets, or accessories like junction boxes or wall mount brackets. Our first installation scenario involves mounting a dome camera onto drywall. Now when it comes to mounting cameras onto drywall, it's critical to use drywall anchors. Failure to do so can result in costly repairs and damage to the camera. When selecting drywall anchors, make sure they can support the camera's weight and will work with your chosen fastener. Begin by selecting a suitable location for the camera, ensuring that no electrical wires or studs are in the way. Remember, safety first. Electricity can be deadly, so it's best to turn off the circuit breaker. Now some cameras will come with a mounting template, but for this video, we're going to use the camera's base as a guide. Begin by marking the wall where the screws will go and where the cable will pass through. With your hole locations marked, create pilot holes using a screwdriver or a small drill bit, then insert the drywall anchors until they're flush with the wall. Next, you'll need to drill a hole for the cable to pass through. Before drilling, measure the required hole size based on your cable. Use a spade bit or a hole saw slightly larger than the cable end. Now it's time to mount the camera onto the wall. Start by passing the cable through the hole. Begin fastening the first screw into the drywall anchor, but don't fully tighten it. This allows you to adjust the camera's position while securing the remaining screws. Once all screws are in place, tighten them securely. With the camera mounted, the next steps involve connecting the cable, positioning the camera, and attaching the dome to complete the installation. Another option for drywall is to use a low voltage mounting bracket. These are ideal for retrofit work, enabling single gang or double gang installation without an electrical conduit box. However, check whether your camera is compatible with these bracket patterns before proceeding. Installing the bracket on a drywall involves cutting a two and a quarter inch by three and a half inch hole. Always consult with the property owner or manager before cutting into the wall. To install the bracket, place it on the wall, ensuring that it's level. Mark the four corners of the cutout area then create a starter hole at one corner with a drill to guide your drywall knife. Use the knife to cut out the hole. Once the hole is ready, insert the bracket, extend the wings to grip the back of the drywall, and secure it by tightening the screws. With the low voltage bracket in place, mount the camera or camera mounting plate using the machine screws provided. After mounting the camera, connect the cable, position the camera, and then attach the dome to complete the installation. So you might be wondering, what if my wall isn't drywall, but rather brick or cinder block? What's the solution for that? For brick walls, we recommend using an electrical box or a universal junction box, such as our CEUJB, which allows the camera to sit flat and offers more flexibility for cable routing. Here's how to install it. First, select the location for the camera, then mark the mounting holes of the box. Use a hammer drill with a masonry bit to create pilot holes in the marked locations. A regular drill won't have enough power for drilling through brick, so a hammer drill with a masonry bit is essential. Now if you're passing the cable through the wall, drill a hole for the cable. If you're running the cable along the wall, you can skip this step. Then secure the junction box to the wall using the concrete screws or specialty anchors. Once the junction box is securely installed, make your cable connections and complete the installation by mounting the dome camera on the box. Thanks for that, Corey. Before we conclude, are there any other alternatives that we should consider? Wall mount brackets are another option to consider when mounting a dome camera to a wall. Our universal wall mount, the CE IDXWB, features multiple hole patterns designed to cater to a wide range of dome cameras. These brackets allow better lens positioning and enhance the camera's aesthetic appeal. Plus, they often provide space for cable access. 
We hope this video has equipped you with the knowledge to successfully mount an indoor dome camera. If you want to learn more about the products featured in this video, go ahead and leave us a comment. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-447-3306 or visit us online at clintonelectronics.com. I'm Tyler. I'm Corey. And we'll see you next time.